I have in front of me a Lab Gear 16 way TV amplifier with uh, bypass, okay? So just gonna take the box out of the way uh, directly itself here. So we'll move on to the main show itself here, which is the, um, the distribution amplifier itself. So the key thing on this is, if we look at the, um, the outputs on it, obviously we'll see we have 16 here. We have put potentially two inputs here. We have UHF aerial, which we'll bring from our Serview over in the UK, our Freeview uh, aerial. And uh, we have an FM uh, DAB connection here, so we just put a radio connection directly in here. And we have a total of eight ports, 16 ports, uh, eight bottom, another eight on top, so 16 in total. And if we look at the frequency range, the UHF one here is 470 up to 790, so that's the, covering the TV uh, spectrum. Uh, we have the DAB ones here, which is 47 up to 230, which will cover DAB, the old VHF, I think it's still inside that range and uh, the, um, the aerial um, uh, the FM radio as well. Okay, so the gain on it is, gives a boost of about 10 dB, um, there's a noise ratio of about 3.5, and uh, you can just see the different things here. And there's a Digilink power on it then of nine volts, uh, one, um, uh, I think it's about 15 milliamps, okay? And the significance of the nine volt thing, anybody who's used to the old sky boxes is that you have a sky eye, uh, or something similar to a sky eye being fed off a box or something with a, a powered modulator, things like that. It'll mean that it gives the ability to uh, control uh, the set-top box from a remote location. So let's just think about this. We go into a situation, we'll say a B&B, &B, a hotel, um, a very large house, something like that, and with multiple television uh, points around the house they want to connect up. Well, an 8-way will normally do in most applications, but if it's not sufficient, we can go for a 16-way. Uh, something like this here. So uh, what happens is just connect our TV aerial directly and we run it out. But just say we're taking a feed off a skybox, for instance, that had a 9 volt output on it. We can run it in here, run uh, potentially the, the UHF aerial has already gone into the skybox and back out. So what we're doing then is we are from each location, we can view all the channels, but also if we pick up a remote control, point it at the sky eye in the various rooms, we can actually send a signal back so it has a return path mechanism on it. That's what I mean by bypass on it. And it'll run back to the skybox and allow you to change channels uh, from a remote location. Um, so this product itself, because of the size and things like that, it's a niche enough product, but it has got real purposes there and it can be extremely handy to have uh, 16 here. Even if you're building a mini head end, we'll say, with um, We'll say 30 TVs and something like that. And right, instead of using, we'll say, multiple eight ways, to be able to use uh, two um, uh, 16 ways could be very, very handy on it. Um, so, something like that, we'll say, is quite good. Uh, the big competitor in this market, uh, two Lab Gear on it, has a very similar product, but it's about 50 or 60% more expensive. Where the Lab Gear one is identical in terms of the specifications on it, and Lab Gear is itself a premium brand. Um, so it just sits nicely with our overall range of things. Uh, the various other things I've mentioned there, the type of F connectors you use in relation to this, the sky eyes, etc. They're all products that are associated with this that we stock directly on the free TV website as well. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Lab Gear 16-way TV amplifier with bypass available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie.